Hello and welcome again to Try Make Video Tech Tips. Today we're gonna review how we can create a piping route for this current assembly. To begin with, we're gonna click on the SOLIDWORKS Add-in tab and select SOLIDWORKS Routing. After choosing this option, we can see that we have our design library available. We can start by adding a welding neck flange to our assembly and choosing the correct configuration. Here we have the route properties and I can specify the type of pipe I'm gonna use. In this case, we're gonna use a four inch pipe with a 40 schedule. After, after selecting the pipe, I can see that I can modify the 3D sketch by dragging it up or down. I can continue creating my 3D sketch by using the same 3D sketch features that we're used to. Let's start by adding a line from the end to my, of my pipe. As you can notice, the elbows of the pipe have been added automatically and I don't need to spend time specifying the radius of the elbows since this was previously defined in the properties tab. I can continue adding more lines. and continue creating my piping route. To finish this route, I will add a second neck flange to my assembly. Specify all the configurations again. And I can merge these two points together. I will finish by removing this section of the pipe and we can see that my 3D sketch has been fully configured and fully defined. Another option for creating our piping route is to use the auto route feature. Here we need to select the two routing points and SOLIDWORKS will create a solution for us. SOLIDWORKS provides us with a different array of solutions and we just need to choose the one that fits the most to our needs. This brings us to the end of our video, but be aware of more SOLIDWORKS tech tips to streamline your design process.